you are now taking the standard Moodle assessment. Before we begin, here are a few reminders. Make sure you have access to the following. A working mobile phone with your active mobile number. An active email address that you can access. A desktop or laptop that functions without any issues. A working headset. If you don't have any of these, please pause the video and inform the test admins or recruiters so they can help you find a solution. If you have all the necessary items needed for the exam, here are a few instructions to get you started. Make sure you only use the email you provided during your Workday profile creation, as you will receive in that same email the following. First, an email with a link to the Concentrix Assessment Center. Second, your Concentrix login credentials for the assessment. Third, a passcode to access the assessment. Log in to your email using a PC or laptop. You may access your phone briefly, just to verify your email accessing a new device. If you can't access your email, notify your test admins and recruiters immediately. Once you've successfully logged in to your email, click the link sent to you to access the Concentrix Assessment Center. If it doesn't work, simply copy and paste the URL into your browser's address bar. You'll then receive an email with your login details. Once you've entered your login details, you will be asked to change your password. Use the current password emailed to you and assign a new one. Finally, a passcode will be sent to your inbox, granting you access to the exam. Two important reminders. Do not use your phone during the exam and do not open any program or application. Failure to do so will result in disqualification. Now, on to the actual test. To give you an overview, the Moodle assessment only takes 30 to 40 minutes, and it only has two parts, a typing test and a data entry test. The first part is the one-minute typing test. You need to copy and type the exact paragraph in the blank box. Note that the text in red means error in your typing. Correct this by using backspace. To pass, the adjusted words per minute should be 26 or higher. Accuracy percentage should be 90% or higher. Don't be surprised, as the target passing score can vary depending on the score required by the account. Make sure to aim for a higher score to improve your chances of being considered to more accounts. You have one minute to complete the typing test. Please note that your time starts as soon as you begin typing. The box will automatically gray out once your time is up. Click on Continue to save your score. Here's a quick tip to up your chances of passing the typing test. Before the exam, let your recruiter know that you would like to practice your typing skills. It's optional, but we highly recommend it. You may try out websites with one-minute typing tests, like typingtest.com or 10fastfingers.com. Opt for one-minute tests that offer medium to high level of difficulty. This will help improve your speed and accuracy. The second part is the data entry audio assessment. Here, you will listen to a recording while encoding specific details on the boxes provided. Please avoid these common mistakes. Input the complete name of the city. Do not use the abbreviated form. Example, Los Angeles. As for the state, this is where you should use the abbreviated form. Example, CA for California. Also, do not get confused in the designation part, as this is where you need to input the job title. This part has five audio files to play, and each number has different details. You may replay, fast forward, or pause the audio if you were unable to catch every detail. Make sure you follow the format indicated and complete the exam within 30 minutes. Once done, click on the Finish Attempt button. 
Since you can only take these tests once, please inform your recruiter once you've completed the tests. Never attempt a retake or click the Reattempt Your Test button without being given the instruction to do so. And now, a few FAQs to help guide you. 1. Can I use a notepad and pen for the data entry audio assessment? No, you are not allowed to use a notepad or pen during your exam. The notepad application or similar programs are also not allowed to be accessed during the exam. 2. Can I take the data entry and typing tests using my phone? Only the data entry test may be taken using a mobile phone. However, accessibility issues may happen. Make sure you take both tests on a laptop or desktop, as not doing so can negatively impact your test scores. 3. What if I cannot access the Moodle assessment due to a system or device error? Notify your recruiter immediately. It's imperative that the laptop or desktop being used can smoothly access the assessment. Here's what you can expect after taking the Moodle assessment. Your recruiter will share your assessment results in real time. If you fail the assessment, there will be no retakes and you will need to reapply after 15 days. If you pass, a different recruiter will approach you for the next process, which is the account profiling interview. Please note that the number of additional assessments that you need to take may vary based on the account that you will be profiled to. If you have questions that were not answered in this video, please don't jump right into the tests. It's best that you reach out to your recruiter and make sure your questions have been addressed. Good luck on the exam. You got this.